Hello YouTube, this is uh, Brad Taylor here from the channel I love to draw 24-7 coming back at you with another video tonight. This one here is about, you know, just talking about life in general. We're going to talk about school, kid, children, bullies, and just a few things and thoughts on my mind. I'm going to start doing more videos like this, just random things on top of my head. First off, you know, I've seen people right here lately just around all over that's being weighed down by some negative energy, negative people always weighing you down and my thought on this is like like just like chasing your dreams you know people are always want are you know they pull out the quickest negative thing they can pull out they're like oh you know well you don't want to do this you want to do that no if i say i want to do this this is what i want to do you know and i'm going to tell you all now if you got a dream that you're wanting to go chase go chase it and here's the deal with that if a parent or a co-worker or you know, just a friend, family member, anybody, you know, that says, well, Brad, you probably don't want to go do this, or Brad, you don't want to go do that, because the Lord knows we've all heard this a thousand times. Uh, Brad, you don't want to go do that. You should do it this way, or you should do it that way, or you should do it this way. Here's the deal with all this that I'm getting at. If you go and do stuff the way they want to do, then when you become 90, 100 years old, you're going to look back, and you're going to regret your life, and you're going to say, wow, I really wish I'd have went and done what Brad said on his video or what I, I thought about doing you know you need to go do stuff that you want to do not stuff that they want you to do here's the deal like you know I said um, if you got a dream go chase it because like I said when you go 90 you're going to look back and regret it but here's the deal if you go and you chase your dream and say you do fail well so what you failed but I guarantee you you'll get more satisfaction out of that one failure because it was your choice and you chose to try the dream and it failed then what you'll get out of even chasing their dream and, and succeeding you're not going to get nowhere doing that i've done it i'm doing it now like right now at this very moment i have done that to where i went and chased something that i just honestly wish i'd have never went and done and i'm stuck here today and i'm telling you guys you don't want to do it you don't want to live with regret another thing is you know I, I, I've made some bad choices earlier on in my life and it made to where I put down my art and I didn't touch my art for years because of my brain. My brain was all messed up. I wasn't thinking right and I, I, I just wasn't acting right. I just And I honestly didn't have the motivation in me to sit down with this thing right here or a pencil for hours at a time because of my brain. It was all messed up. You don't want that in life. You need to have a clear mind, clear thoughts. Go out and chase your dreams that way. And now that I got a clear mind, clear thoughts, I am chasing mine, and I will make something of myself one day. And you know, I still got another 70 years. I hope at least 70 years. I'm only 29 years old to the, at this moment when I'm making this video. And so that's what you guys need to think about is, if you got a dream you want to go chase, get up off your ass, go chase it, man. Don't sit around and waste your life. You know, we only got what 100 years maybe 110 115 if we're really lucky and i don't know if i consider that lucky but the other thing is these negative people man they're everywhere nowadays and uh i deal with them on a day-to-day -day basis i got I'm, my buddy of mine my cameraman anthony he wants me to start making more of these motivational videos saying they're good and that they help people maybe they do i don't know if you like them just hit the like button and subscribe to my channel leave a comment tell me if you don't like them if like, you know, just laying around my bed like this, I guess it's a little, it's not the most professional now, scenery, but, you know, that's life. But I will have better ones. I'm getting ready to set up a studio at my house and stuff. But what I'm getting at is these negative people, man, they're everywhere. And I've noticed, like, even out here, they'll talk about somebody while you're in a room. And as soon as you walk out, they're talking about you. And that's the way people are in this world. That's the way they are at school. That's the way they are at home. My children are going to be watching this, I'm sure. Well, let them know. Don't let the negative people get you around, boys. Don't let any, any children out there, any kids, anyone, youth, I don't care what age you are. When these people are sitting around bad mouth people, don't sit there and bad mouth them with them. Just walk out of the room. Get out of the room and go to the next room because I'm telling you, it's the moment you walk out there doing it to you too. And the reason people do that is because they're so insecure with their own lives that they got to bash other people and make themselves feel better up in here. They got insecurities going on up in here. And 
you're one that disagrees, well, you're probably just one of the naysayers. You're one of the the negative people too. Like just like me chasing my dream with YouTube and and, and Instagram and, and just pushing my artwork out there. That's all this is about is getting my art out there. At the same time, helping a few people, inspiring a few people, maybe getting them up off their butts along the way. Um, you know, it's just I'm losing track of thought here. But what I'm, another thing I'm trying to say is like my kids going to school. They just started school the other day. Don't go to school and put up these bullies, and don't go to school and be a bully. Nobody likes a bully, and that's why, back to my other video the other day, that's what people commit suicide for real because of bullies, and just people out there going around thinking they're better than everybody because they dress better, you know, they got the prettier girlfriend, they got the nicer home they live in. None of that's going to matter when you get older kids because that's your parents' stuff, what your parents have acquired over the years. We need to be thinking about what you're going to acquire and what you're going to do with your life, not what your parents have done. Just because you you could live, I grew up in a trailer, you know what I mean? And and to start out with, uh, it was a nasty trailer, a little piece of shit run down trailer. My father got out and worked his ass off and ended up buying us a nicer home later on once I got in my teen years. That took a lot of hard work and dedication, but what I'm getting at is, now that I'm older looking back, you know, honestly, that probably made me a better person living in a little rundown trailer to start out with because it made me appreciate the stuff I get in life and the stuff that I'm going to get in life. And I need you guys to understand that. Life ain't about all about what you're getting and what all that either. It's more about what's in here and what's in here, you know. And you don't need to be worried about who's got the better car or the better home or the better this or better. Don't worry about all that stuff, guys. You know, you need to get up off your asses to go chase your dreams. And another thing, like I was saying, I'm sorry about the cussing with you guys. I shouldn't be cussing, but, uh, you know, these bullies and stuff in school, don't be a bully. Don't go, don't grow up be like them. Don't grow up uh, picking on people and acting like you're better than everybody because you're not. Nobody's better. We all put our boots on, our socks on, however you want to say that old quote, one leg at a time, just like every other man or, or woman on this earth. Or no, none of us are no different. Just because you got a little more money don't make you better than somebody. I live and work around people to this day that act like they're better than me just because they make 50 grand more a year. Well, you know what? All these people can take their money and shove it because one of these days I'll be out of this place and I will be making better money. But it's not about the money. It's, it is my happiness up in here because I'm not content with where I'm at now and none of us should be at this age. Like I said, I'm 29 years old, so we all need to be striving to be better people. We all need to be striving to be, I don't know, just better people in this world, better listeners, better uh, husbands, wives, better, you know, fathers. I'm, I'm striving to be a better father. I'm not the best father, and a lot of you out there need to understand that I know I'm not the best father, and I never claim to be. The Lord knows I can work on it, but I'll tell you right now, we can all look in the mirror and work on a lot of things. My children know, like, I'm not the best father, but my God, I try to be a good dad, and I do take my children out and do some stuff with them, and that's why I'm trying to get these videos out to you children, you kids, you adults, whoever, you know, we all need to work on ourselves, and we could always better ourselves, every single one of us, so like, my kids, like Lane is probably going to be watching this, Briar's going to be watching this, if you guys do watch this video, think about, you know, what you want to be in life, and what you're going to do, and go chase your dreams, don't let people hold you down, don't let the naysayers say nay, you know, tell them nay you say nay i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna chase my dreams i'm gonna do what i want to do you know if somebody's telling you you can't do this you can't do that well screw you yeah we can and we're gonna show you and that's what i'm about right now on this journey i'm on as i am gonna show i got my buddy over at Mero g on his channel it's m-e-r-r-o and then g you know he does uh inspirational videos and i actually enjoy watching his videos he's a buddy of mine but anyway He's going through some tough times right now. Man, I hate that it's got you down. We all get to that point in our life where we got some pretty negative energy around us and it weighs us down. Stuff that we've done, choices we've made, or choices that's been made around us that we can't control. But you know what? It's how, like I said before, it's how we climb that mountain. We put our chin down, put our head down, put our chin down, take that punch on the chin, and keep on climbing. Once we get over the hill, we'll see how we turn out on the other side. I guarantee you we'll be a better man or a better person because of that. Guys, watching this, go chase your dreams. When you go to school, don't let kids bully on you. You don't be a bully. You go out there and you try to be the best student you can be. Learn the stuff you need to learn. Have fun. Enjoy school because it flies by. Like my father told me once that 
you know, one of these days you'll look back and you'll wish you're back in school. And I understand that now as an adult paying bills. Maybe everyone else will understand one day, whoever is a child watching this. But chase your dreams, guys. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. And if you like my videos, like and subscribe. Spread them around to your friends, family. Uh, you know, share them. I'm getting ready to put up some more artwork. I'm about to do a Tupac picture. About to slam out and finish slamming out and picture my portrait of my son. I've got some other portraits I'm working on. And here very, very soon we're going to start putting a bunch of pictures online for sale. But right now we're not trying to sell anything. All I'm trying to do is get content out there and spread the love. So you guys spread the love with me. You guys have a good day. Peace.